All right, guys, welcome back to more Planet Zoo. We are back here at St. Martin, and we are going to get some new animals. So we decided on the giant anteater. The giant anteater, or, oh god, okay, Mermis, Merma, Mermacophaga tri tridactyli? Tridactyla? Okay, yeah. It's a medium-sized mammal that lives in the grasslands and forests of Central and South America. As the name success suggests, the species feeds almost exclusively on ants and termites, detecting ant colonies by smell before digging a hole to feed using its long, sticky tongue. Giant eater. The giant ant eater has a distinctive appearance with a long, tubular snout, small eyes and ears, stocky limbs, a coarse mane, and a thick, bushy tail. They also have a characteristic pattern across their bodies, white front legs, a gray muzzle, and a black stripe across their chest, throat, and shoulders with bristly black to brown tails and manes. Giant ant eater is a vulnerable species. The overall population increased by 30% between 2000 and 2010. Their habitat is under threat through deforestation and the expansion of agriculture. And they are also badly impacted by wildfires, hunting, car collisions, and dog attacks. Ant eaters are protected within their home range. Oh, when their home range falls within nature reserves, and they are also captive breeding programs at zoos, with ant eaters being reintroduced to areas that have gone locally extinct to prevent population fragmentation. Yeah, big old boys. Giant eaters are solitary and live alone with the exception of a mother and her young. Yeah, so like a breeding program. Well, definitely doable. It's going to take a while to get any results. And the two that we got are not... The one nice thing is that... Because eventually I think what I want to do with uh, this and a lot of my other ones, my other zoos, is I want to like eventually have like the independent... Uh, enclosures and then do like a uh, kind of like a graduation thing where you can where it's a more interactive uh multi-species enclosure um whether we can do that or not we'll see but yeah the two if we look at here the two anteaters that we have in animal storage so we got Raimundo and aloha they're not great Raimundo is actually pretty bad but you know there weren't a lot of uh, eight years on the animal market. I mean, now there's another female. But yeah, there's, there's not a lot of... Not a lot of good ones genetic-wise set up a breeding program. With that said, we are going to try with what we got and uh, see what happens. So, worst comes to worst, we'll be buying more anteater. So, first things first, we're going to... I'll take you guys through the, the exhibit setup and what I'm thinking, so... First, we can get a gate for the staff. So let's get the habitat gate, and we're gonna put it over this way. So it's a little bit further removed, and I kept it semi-small. Be honest, the ant eater they're gonna be solitary. It's only gonna be two, possibly three at any time. So I'm not like super worried about um what's the word? I'm not super worried about the exhibit as far as how big it is. I I think we'll be okay with the size that we're at. Um, plus we can maybe put a smaller, crazier looking exhibit over here, possibly is a thought. I would like to get, my main things I want to aim for, I want to aim for a, a big rainforest exhibit. That would be really cool, do like a rainforest tour exhibit. And to do uh, either capuchin monkeys or jaguars next. Uh, both of those things, though, are pretty expensive so 
Uh, and I've never done monkeys in this game before, other than uh, there's um, a scenario where you go to an ape reserve. I've done that one. But uh, I've never tried to do like an ape centric uh, zoo myself, so it will be interesting to see how we deal with capuchin monkeys. And if they don't just crawl out of everything we put them in. Alright, so nature wise, we're gonna filter the biome. So we want tropical. And temperate. Or not temperate, grassland. And we want continent, South and Central America. Okay. So, what do these guys want? They're going to want a lot of privacy, so... And they're used to... Again, they're used to... Um... Why are words so hard today? They're used to... They want to be in solitary, solidarity, and they want to... Have something similar to the rainforest, right? So... Let's do this. Let's go to terrain real quick. Do some sculpting. We want to push. We're going to do like a little lake for him right here. Not even like a pond. Okay, cool. So they can get their fresh drinking water from there. And then we're gonna not that. Then we're gonna go do nature. We're gonna get some. Uh, can, you get, can we get smaller rocks? Jesus. Well, actually, that one would be cool to. Oh, what was that? Was this one? Get a little overlook of the water. That actually looks pretty sick. We'll do that. And underneath that, could I get like a smaller rock to like. Hmm. There we go. Stop. Uh, I, I, I like that anyway. <laughs> um. Okay, that'll be good for the floor. And then. Yeah, okay, yeah, Brazil. let's do a Brazil nut tree. I'll provide a lot of shade and cover. And then we'll do some... What do we want? Let's do some... Coconut palms? We'll do some reeds over here by the little watering hole. Do some of these guys. Ooh, not that last one. Nope. You, sir, need to move. Alright, and then let's uh, go back to nature. Okay, um. Let's get a little mangrove tree in here, too. Just like on the corner of the. Okay. Let's get some palms, maybe. All right, and go for some rhubarb. All right, that should provide him a lot of cover over there. Now, as far as the rest of the habitat, okay, shelter. Do I just want to give them, like, a big-ass thing like that for shelter? That should be more than enough. Here, we'll try that, and we'll see how that works. I'll put a bunch of, uh... 
extra large leaves in there. There we go, boom. Like the forest floor. Ooh, do, do they bear burrow? You know what? They might fucking burrow. I seem to remember giant anteaters burrowing in Zoo Tycoon. Tags, Aardvark, European Badger, Common Wombat, and Red Fox. Okay. So, if I species out, alright, giant anteater. Okay. No, this should be fine. Okay. I'ma hope so. I'ma hope this will work. Oh, you know what? Actually, I like that one a lot better. Here, let's, uh... Uh... Okay. Let's grab all this, and we're gonna trash that. Alright. And then, habitat. I actually really like the look of that one. Definitely a lot more fitting for the, uh... Part of the world we're in. There we go. Nice, and then we'll put, uh, the leaves on the bottom. Oh, they're gonna love that. Alright, nope. Um, okay, food and water. So let's go for the food bowl. So, food bowl can go over... We'll give them privacy for when they're eating, right? And then... Ears and coolers we don't need. Alright, enrichment. So, for food enrichment, we'll give them a forage box. We'll put that in front of the... They can watch for forage. And then, as far as toys go... Do the rubbing pad against the... Uh... Can I go against the... Uh... Oh, that's a little silly. Put here against that tree. No, I have it... I have it upside... I have it facing the wrong way. Maybe that's why. Okay, maybe now you'll let me go put it against the... Uh... No, it still won't. <laughs> Weird, alright. Well, let's do that. Cool. So I got a little rub station. And then... Hmm. We can try the herb scent as well. Then the only other thing I can think of is they might want a little bit more dirt. In small grass, so... Uh, let's go to painting. That's what I'm gonna do. It might seem crazy, but we're just gonna muddy this all up real quick. Get it nice and dirty for him. Alright. You followed me? Get it nice and muddy. Cover the whole thing in the soil. Right, and then we bring in the short grass. And we just do like sporadic bits of short grass. I have a feeling they're gonna really like the dirt. So I'm gonna give them a lot of dirt. Super fucking hard to see it right now. And we'll see what they do with that. Um, is that shelter food? Alright, the only other thing I think I might do... Well, the keepers shouldn't have an issue. If they're just sticking around here, they shouldn't have an issue getting over here. So I am going to go to the zoo work zone. Prime? Nothing. 
Pickpocket victims four. Oh, jeez. The zoo feels pretty small. It's scorching out here. Well, I mean, you know, you're in the fucking... You're in South America, my guy. In the Caribbean, no less. Actually, in Central America. Uh... Go to work zones and we are going to edit work zone and we are going to add in you all right cool all right now we do have the money we are getting a lot of people in might be worth buying an educator here we go all right and then, um, yeah, I guess we can start moving the boys in. Uh, uh, let's, uh, do education and training. Yeah, education. All right. The educational speaker goes there. Let's do... One of those right here. Educational stand over here. And an ambient speaker. Oh, let's just put the. We could put another conservation thing up for uh go against deforestation since they are directly affected by it yeah let's do that and you're gonna go oh so there's a thing about invasive species okay i was wondering about that that'd be cool uh deforestation okay And I kind of actually want to read that at some point. Uh, maybe. Alright, let's... This will be... Educator... Paddock... Okay. And let's go to Animal Trading, Animal Storage... Let's grab Raimundo and Aloha, and let's send him in. We'll see how they do. And then, can I... I'm assuming I can't select... Well, that's, a, that's specifically an exhibit education for it. Heritage education stand. Can't select it until they're in. Alright, well, let's let time proceed. Hopefully they're on the call. Pedro Capipara is right up back. Okay. I'll have to go take a look at the Capybaras. I have a feeling that means that one of them is ready to go. Alright, um... I don't know what the fuck that is. Let's do... Alright. First generator is in! It's alright. How do you like your space, boy? Or girl? Nutrition? That's, that's it. Everything else is perfect. Awesome. So, we hit the nail right on the head. It is, should be enough land area for her, so... For her and him. Alright, let's... Grab... 
Some bins for over here. And Raimundo has arrived. All right, cool. Yeah, they're just they're just waiting on food. All right, nope. Eventually, I think I will split this off, and there should be like the central zoo kind of deal. But all right, so what are we doing here? Oh, tapers are about to mate. Nice. That's good. We want that. Let's line the grid. Okay, so that's how you do that. Alright, cool. So we're going to do a little feeding area over here. Just a slight bits of ways from... Uh, The anteaters. So they get a little bit of privacy. Oh, and there's that. That is 300 guests in the zoo. Nice. And then we want guest facilities. Alright, so we do definitely need a restroom over here because the nearest one is nowhere near here. Uh. Do that. Yeah, like right there. I think tickets are underpriced. Oh well, don't mind if I do. Just jack those. Uh, I believe the children prices where they're at. Uh. Let's get facilities. We need another power generator. Sheet. Ba -da -ba -ba. All right, so guest facilities. Let's make uh another chief bee. Yeah, let's get a. Drink shop. And let's do some vending machines over here. And then we'll do just a couple of tables out here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that costs a lot of money. Yo, it's calm down. I'm buying anything for a little while. Let's say that we are going to make another staff path, though. Go from right here to over here. That's a shortcut. Alright, and then we are going to turn this on. Do I need you? Alright. 
Yeah, I gotta take a look at the capybaras. I, I haven't gotten over to do that yet, game. Jesus. Yeah, okay, a bunch of the capybara are maturing, so... That is probably gonna be... Okay. Let's pause real quick. Alright, so what... That research is complete. Alright, so we got... Level 3 of the Capybara. What does Revel... Revel? What does Level 3 of Capybara entail, though? Reading research, so they're 15% more likely to conceive food enrichment and toy enrichment. Oh, no more fun facts. Oh. So what was the new... Yes, we got the... Upgrade. What is the... You just get all their toys now? Okay. Nothing... Nothing crazy for the Cappy Bears. Alright, so... Yeah, nutrition, social, and habitat are getting me a problem. Alright. Violetta. So his current mate is heard members. Alright, so Rosa Maria needs to go on contraceptives. Because we don't need her to breed with her father. Man, what we're keeping. Violetta, I think we possibly release into the wild. Get 32 points for that. Uh, yeah, I think Violetta is our first uh, candidate for being reduced, released into the wild. I mean, if you look at her, we got a decent fertility gene. She's a young female. Pretty decent lifespan. I mean, ideally, we would like to send her out. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe we should get rid of. Uh... Who's Manuel bonded to? Oh, he's bonded to Violet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, she's definitely gotta go. I think it's right that I should keep Manuel and Rosa Maria and then. Get rid of the rest. Yeah, I think so. I think that's uh, what to do. So let's. Alright. So let's release her to the wild. Yep. Goodbye, Violetta. Violetta, Capybara has been traded out of the zoo. Okay. Rosa Maria, we're gonna keep where she's at. And then we'll can stay. But these other Capybara cap, uh, these other Capybaras gotta go semi soon. So I might put some of them on the trade market. Like Michaela might go on the trade market just because I feel like she'll be worth a lot of points. Um, yeah, and I think that that, that would be uh, all of them. We definitely still need to increase the land area. So I think that's probably what my next thing will be. We'll be upgrading the capybara enclosure just a little bit. 
giving them a bit more stuff. Mm. So that's the next task. Uh, did our tapir lady... Ah! She conceived. Nice. That's awesome. Super good. Super good. Slipping on cleanliness. Goddamn. Um. Okay. I think we're all good then for now. Let's see how this uh, inspector report goes. Yeah, let's uh. Rich doesn't get that keeper over there. Oh, hey, what happened to our capybara that was sick? We forgot about that. Uh, oh, is he already taken care of? I guess he was already taken care of. I mean, I'll take it. Capybara Oasis, we might get... Yeah, we got nailed for stuff into Capybara Oasis. We'll see how we do with any dramatic. It should be, like, pretty golden. We got five for the stars for the tapers, so... Ant Eaters should get a pretty good review. Man, look at them. They're just lumbering around. They are pretty cool animals. I always liked Ant Eaters as a kid. Nice. Very cool. Oh, he's running for something. Just running away. <laughs> see, is she gonna actually look at a part where she can actually see ant haters, or is she gonna stare at the wall over here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Planets they never change. What are we getting for in Capybara Oasis? Seen Manuel. Okay, she's just based off of. Okay. She just looks at what animal? That's kind of. Okay. Leaving zoo. Oh boy. Let's speed that up. Get out of here, lady. As it takes her literal days to walk to the end of the zoo. Uh, I am a little bit having this full speed for too long just because of the capybara exhibit uh, right now. You guys should just about be. Alright, you are like just about to age up soon, so. Habitat has increased. They've gotten happier because we got rid of some of the other capybara. But... Man, this lady takes forever to leave, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, how the poison frogs? We stocked up on. Fro oh yes, we are. Oh god. All right. Let's pause again real quick. It could actually have happened at a better time. All right. So let's look at these guys. So zoo animals. Okay. So, Enos and Alejo, I believe, are the, uh, yes, okay, so, let's grab all of the rest of these frogs. Because I 
pretty sure that Enos and Alejo are still like the two top ones. Yeah, cause until I see like gold stars pop up, I'm not really worried about. All right, let's quick trade. $1,500 for frogs. Sounds good to me, boss. Okay. I would like to think that we're releasing them into the wild anyway, but, you know, maybe that's just me. Yeah. Let's go. Spectrum's left. All right, cool. We still got one star for education. I thought we would have gotten a little better on education. Oh well. We did just get our educator. Alright. Victor arriving in zero months. Okay. Spectre is arriving in usage. Just left. Seriously? We should just left, bro. Alright. Well, whatever. Okay. Um. So what does our educator? Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of just gonna hold on until these last two camping bars. But yeah, no, I'm uh, we definitely come a long way. Ooh, well, that's not good. That don't look good. There's requested. Get the fuck over here, my guy. Push through those people. Come on. <laughs> hustle, hustle, man. All right. Uh, yeah, I would like to just hang out for a little bit, just uh. For Margarita and what you, what's your name, Michaela, to level up, as it were. Very right, cool, yeah. Definitely clean that shit up, my guy. Sheesh. Well, yeah, we had our first uh, wild release. So awesome. Uh, we got another albino capybara out there in the wild. Very cool. How are the capybaras doing? Love these fucking guys. Not endangered at all. Literally these star animals at the zoo right now. Alright, she's about to mature. Do I not have donation things up for... Oh, that's embarrassing. I don't have donations up for... Jesus. How foolish can you be? Alright, so let's get a donation box up for the day beer. And let's go get one. At least uh, Annie literally just came, so... It's not as embarrassing for them. Alright, cool. And I'm gonna add some lights and stuff over here, too, because it is dark as fuck over there. <laughs> Alright, so... Where are my two regular capybara? They should just be about to be 1.6. I'm not sure... What are your uh, genetics looking like? Mm. Yeah, not great. Not super bad, though. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Margarita Capybara has matured. Cool. Yeah, they're both still looking pretty small. Must not have the growth spurt yet. Alright. 
So, how are your genetics? So you are definitely going to put on the trading market, I think. And then, where is your sibling? Where the hell did they go? Is that you? There you are. Alright, so... Uh, you might just go a little wild. Yep, okay. And hey, two capybara released in the wild. All oh, the giant eaters are gonna mate. How does this work? Is they just gonna rub heads? Yeah. A truly <laughs> miraculous, but wow! Alright, first time. July, year five. Cool. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna check out the trade market then. Let's pause the game real quick. Alright. So... Trade! I think 80 is a fair... N I don't know. Maybe I could go for a little... Do you think I can get away with like 100? I don't know how... Like, if I go to the animal market right now and look at Capybara... A... B... What are Capybara going for right now? Oh. Any species, then select Capybara. Like, for a... Man. Yeah, she got better stats than those guys. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna leave it at 100. Yeah, I think she can get it. We'll just have to see what happens. Alright, but that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we got some new boys out here. Ooh, their exhibit is all messed up. That's weird. Uh, well, yeah, we got some new boys. The giant anteaters are doing good. Uh, I'm going to expand on this area over here. Real quick, and by the next episode, hopefully. Oh wow, we got Capybara Research 4 already. Damn, our vet isn't doing anything but researching. Did we get another fun fact? Alright, we'll end with a fun fact. Alright, what, what do we got? Capybaras can hold their breath underwater for five minutes. Oh, vitamin supplements! We might actually upgrade them for that, because. That sounds like something that they need desperately. Uh, what would that be under? Maintenance? Yeah. Ba -ba -ba. Where is... Creative food, okay. $920. That's fine. It's fine. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And in the next episode, we will hopefully... It's either going to be... I really want to get the... Capucha monkeys and the jaguars. But I think actually we might go for some caimans. Ooh, some caiman alligators? Maybe. You guys will have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.